Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Wally Gator, IBEW Inside Journeyman Wireman. All right, this is the end of week seven, and I just worked a Saturday double bubble. All overtime is double time on this South Bend job up here in New Carlisle at the Confidential Data Center. And I'm going to Ohio to go to Bass Pro Shops. Why? Because turkey season in Indiana starts next week in a few more days. And I'm going to go turkey hunting up here in Indiana. Well, Indiana won't sell me a, uh, a gun. They won't sell guns to out-of-staters unless your state borders their state. Well, being from Alabama, we don't border Indiana, so can't buy a gun. Not even a shotgun, turkey gun here in Indiana. So I called Ohio Bass Pro Shop, and they said, yeah, no problems. They'll do it. So... Anyway, I'm liking the job, and we're pulling big 500 MCM cables in some, it's in a, a flex cable. It's all flex. MC, you know the number 12 MC cable. Well, this has got a bunch of 500s in it. It's going to feed these, uh, what do you call it? It's gonna feed the computers and everything. It's gonna feed these cabinets. So, as I make this drive on Saturday afternoon, we worked eight hours, which made 58 hours. So far in seven weeks, I haven't missed a minute. I haven't missed a day, but when turkey season comes in, I'm gonna miss about a few days at least, two or three days there as the season begins if the weather's right. If the weather's not right, then I'll uh, only miss, you know, opening day. I'm gonna go opening day no matter what. And then decide if I wanna take off two more days or if I wanna just come back to work and take off the following week. So that's what you do. <clears throat> I, I started out doing this traveling because I like to deer hunt, but this may turn into a turkey hunting thing now that I've seen all these different turkeys up here in Indiana and Michigan. I mean, it's crazy how many turkeys you see. If you, When you tell people about seeing turkeys, they're like, dude, I saw so many turkeys yesterday or whatever. Everybody knows about the turkeys up here. So if you're an electrician and you like to turkey hunt, come on up to South Bend, Indiana, to Local 153 and uh, join in up here and find you some, uh, there's a lot of public land around, so find you some land. Now, I've got a turkey hunting gun at home, but... I'm not driving 650 miles to go get my turkey hunting gun. I'll just buy a new one. I'm making a lot of money, so I'll just buy a new gun. Can't buy you can't have too many guns, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, everything's going good. We're liking the job. It's tiresome. We're exhausted. I did find an Airbnb not far away. So uh 16 miles away, I stop and uh I'm able to uh go home at the end of the day. <clears throat> it's in Niles, Michigan. I rent one room, so that one room I'm able to take my mattress that I keep here in the back of the Tahoe and put it in the room. It's a big empty room, nothing in there at all, so I'm having to furnish it myself. And <clears throat> that's fine with me, but I'll take it all with me when I leave, or I won't buy all that much, you know what I'm saying? Now, when I get up here after working 58 hours, I gotta drive three hours over here to the Bass Pro Shop. I'm gonna crash there somewhere nearby. I may get a motel, but the weather's in the 50s and 40s, so I know I can do the car camping thing, so I may just hang out at the uh, Walmart and uh, crash there overnight, get up in the morning, drive back, because I don't wanna drive six hours at the end of a 58 hour week, you know what I'm saying? I'll drive three hours there to get the gun, but then get up in the morning and drive back over here. So, or I'll stop at a truck stop and car camp. So I ain't gonna let this Airbnb make me turn around and come all the way back just because it's there and I don't wanna buy a motel tonight. So get to do that. Oh, and with the, uh, what I was doing when I was car camping up here after work, the, uh, 
every night that I would do the car camping and stay at the truck stop or the uh, Planet Fitness, I would take $75 and move it over into another account. Because people always say, I bet you save a lot of money uh, not buying a motel room. Well, I don't know if I save it, but I know I didn't spend it, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> what I do is I moved it over and real quick within this uh, seven weeks, I've done saved a thousand dollars of uh, housing, I guess you would say. <clears throat> so, that's kind of a way I wanna keep track of it. But now I'm in an Airbnb, so it's just a thousand after this seven weeks. I doubt I'll leave this Airbnb. It's only 500 a month. So that's about $16.75 a day. That's hard to beat. Especially when a campground, if you park at a primitive campground, it can be uh, $12 to $20, even for primitive tent camping. So we'll just say I saved $1,000 running on up here, getting the job, then figure out the housing. Figure out the housing later. Go ahead and get the job. Don't let housing stop you from uh, going and take a call. Get up here and get on the books, guys. They are needing people. We are undermanned every day out here. So come on. Remember, the most important thing, do what you want to do. Go where your hobby is and find a job while you're there. And while you're at it, let's go get that money and a turkey gun. Goodbye.